Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner and this is Ali. And on this video, we will show you how to set up and use a ESP S232 device for our PS4. This will work on our PS4 on 9.0. This will allow you to have an automatic jailbreak for your PS4 on 9.0. This is to answer one of the requests from our gamers who are having some issues using their ESP device. So on this video, we will show you how we can set this and also provide some workarounds in case you are having some issues. And before we proceed to the actual video, I just want to address one of the uh, requests that we are receiving for a uh, automatic gear break on 11.0. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting for my device. And since this device has just started distribution last week and uh, we don't have any local suppliers yet, so I have to wait a little longer for me to receive my own device. As soon as we receive it, we will go ahead and set up a uh, video for a tutorial on how to use the Lockfox Pico for automatic gear break on 11.0. But on this video, let us go ahead and set up our ESP device for our PS4 on 9.0. First, let us go ahead and reset our device. So to reset this device, when you are holding it like this, press and hold the uh, upper button, then press the lower button at the same time. That will reset the device and we can go ahead and set this one on our PC. To set this on our PC, we have to connect this using a uh, USB Type-C cable or a USB adapter. But you have to make sure that your USB Type-C cable is a data cable, not just a charge cable. Otherwise, you will have an issue connecting to the device. So let us go ahead and uh, insert this to our PC. On this video, we are going to show two different hosts that we can use to set up our ESP device. First is this host. If this host is not working on your current browser, just go ahead and use a different browser. On this video, I'm using a Google Chrome. Now, once you are here, on this part, you can choose which version you want to install on your ESP device. If one version is not working well for you, you can go ahead and reset up your ESP device and choose a different version. But on this video, let us go ahead and choose the latest version, which is the version 4 plus. Now, once we are here, just go ahead and click on connect. And once you are on this part, go ahead and reset your ESP device. After resetting, you should get this option. Highlight this and click on connect. And once you see this message, just hit on install PS4 server. Then hit on install. Now, for some reason, the version 4 plus is having some issues on some device. So if this one is not working well for you, you should go ahead and try different versions. Now, once you are on this part, you can just go ahead and uh, let it finish installing. Once you get to this part, you can go ahead and click next and insert your ESP device to your PS4 and set up your PS4. But before we do that, I will go ahead and uh, share the other hosts that we can use to set up our ESP device. And to be completely honest, this host is uh, the one that I'm currently using right now. And I am having a better result using this host. But I just showed you this other host so that you can have an option in case you are not satisfied with the current results that you are getting. And to use this host, it's basically the same thing. Just hit on this part, highlight your ESP device, then hit on connect. If you see this error message, that simply means that we have to reset our device again. So let us go ahead and reset our device. Now after resetting, Click on this part again, highlight this one, then connect. Click on install, then install. And it's going to go through the same method. All we have to do is just wait for it to finish. So every time you want to change the host for your ESP device, all you have to do is just reset your device and just go through the same process. 
and if you are not satisfied with one process or with one host you can go ahead and change the host or change the version and also if you are not having a good success rate you may also be having some issues with the usb cable that you are using always make sure that the usb type c cable that you are using is a data cable now once you see this go ahead and click next and let us go ahead and insert our esp device on our ps4 back on our ps4 let us go to the network settings you don't have to be connected online for this set up internet connection use wi-fi choose custom if you use the first host that we have used you should see here the ps4 exploit if you use the second you will see the ps4 macedo 900 so just go ahead and choose your host and the password is one two three four five six seven eight then press ok automatic do not specify automatic automatic do not use then hit back now go back to the browser and we have to change our host so option close window option delete all back to option settings delete cookies and clear website data Now on the enter URL, enter this following address. HTTP without the S and PS4 exploit without the .com. So regardless of the host that you use to set up your ESP, this is the host that you are going to use to activate the jailbreak. Now go ahead and press R2. And once you are here, all you have to do is just wait for your jailbreak to be activated. So on our part here, it only took us around 5 seconds to fully activate the jailbreak. Again, if you are not satisfied with the current version that you have, you can go ahead and change the version or change your host. Or you can also change the USB cable that you are using. Or you can also use a different USB port of your PS4. If you have other USB devices that are inserted on your PS4, that may also affect the activation of your jailbreak. So you may want to remove anything that is inserted on your PS4 aside from your ESP device every time you activate your jailbreak. So this will be it for now. If you are having some issues or concerns, you can still go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.